As the Kenya shillings continues depreciation against the US dollar is putting more pressure on Kenyans, even as importers and business persons begin to pass on the exchange rate cost to consumers to ensure business continuity. Jimmy Mbogo spoke to importers in different fields to understand their pain points and how they intend to remain afloat even as experts warn that the shilling could close the year 2024 at over 200 shillings against the greenback, which is viewed as the global trade currency. As you walk through the streets of Nairobi's Kamukunji Trade Center, the hustle and bustle may fool you to think that business is booming. But there lies a deep concern that traders are yet to find a lasting solution to. To a majority of them who deal in imported products, the rising dollar rate is an existential crisis that has forced them to reorganize their businesses to remain afloat. Uh, dollar is like some few years back. It was like a year. Now, it's like a in a trend of 166. And now, it's like a year ago, it's like 166 in a point. A whole difference of 66. And a difference of 163 in a year. No, no. So for fitia kwa hongo luguna pata kwa hiyo mia, unapata mia moja, saa hiyo unapata ume, ume, ime shuka na hiyo 60. Unapata kama ni 30. Mwamboi now says she has been forced to reduce her consignment orders to maintain liquidity, cutting down on her orders from a bi-monthly frequency and stretching it to only twice a year. Sijui tutafanya aje, ujuwezi ongeza mizigo every day. Na reti ya dola inaongezeka every day. Unapata dola since kama ma, from Monday, ukiulizia dola, ikianza ilikuwa 161, saa hiko 166, every day inaenda juu. Uwezi ongeza hizi mizigo kila siku, kila siku. Unaelewa. So inakuwa, very, inakuwa ngumu sana. The dollar headache is not only felt by traders. According to Peter Otieno, the national chairperson of the Car Importers Association of Kenya, the rising dollar rate has also forced them to increase motor vehicle pricing to cushion their businesses, noting that it has led to a decrease in importation of used motor vehicles in the country. The dollar has really gone high. That is now making our market to be very, very impossible. Because the vehicles that were less than 1 million, now it's 1 million plus. And if we cannot raise it to match the dollar, then we cannot sell and we cannot import more. The importation of used motor vehicles have reduced by 65%, which means what we are importing now is 35%. With analysts expecting the Kenya shilling to further weaken against the US dollar as it undergoes the much needed correction, traders are warning customers to brace themselves for higher commodity prices in the coming days. You want to keep your shop open, but at the same time, you cannot, you cannot remove money from your pocket and put it in the, you know, in, in the hands of the person who is buying the product that you're selling. For the traders here in Kamukunji, their survival is on the line with every single coin that they spend to get the US dollar. A decision that they tell me could as well put them out of business. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.